Hello fellow Herders of the Blue and welcome to my channel and welcome to, well, a new series, I guess. Uh, it's only new because I wouldn't dare to call this zero skill because, well, you will need skill to do this, but I think this is by far the easiest NMM you will ever see and I know that it's a big claim. This is very similar to my original black NMM, but very simplified and using more approachable techniques. I truly believe anyone with motivation and practice can do this. I will do a brief explanation on highlight placement, but I will probably do a longer video on that soon, so stay tuned. Let's get cracking. The thing is, I had this leg painted for quite a while, and I really like it. I think it looks awesome. I did this for one of my private lessons, and I was surprised at how easy it was to do and how good it looks. But before we start, these are the colors that we're going to use. We have black, Skaven Blight Dinge, Stone Vermin Fur, and Miniaturum Grey, and Ulthuan Grey, all from Citadel but the colors themselves are not important. In fact, we can skip Skaven by Dinge and Administratum Grey and just mix a one-to-one -one mix of uh, Black and Stormbreaming Fur or of Stormbreaming Fur and Ulthu and Grey and we will get pretty much the same transition. Again, the colors are not important, I just happen to like them, especially because these two greys here are on the warm spectrum and that gives a really nice deep black effect, but you can use whatever colors you want. So let's start with the reasoning on where to put the highlights. And for that, I'm going to cheat, you see, because this was primed with a satin black paint, we have some highlights present as I move this model in my studio light. And we're just going to copy them, because why not? We see a nice rounded highlight here. We see a highlight on this section there. You can see it there. We have a nice juicy longitudinal highlight on the cylinders. And because this cylinder is facing the earth, we don't see a highlight here, but we're going to place them, just not make it as bright as this one. And on top of that, we're going to add some counter reflections. So what are we going to do as our first step? Well, our first step should always be to map our highlights. And you will see why that's important when we start blending them. So the first color we're going to use is a stone vermin fur, which is the middle point in our transition. We have a nice juicy round highlight here. And as you can see, the highlights that I'm putting down are all aligned. They are all in the same sort of direction. It's very important that we respect that direction. That's going to give us the best possible outcome. As I said, I'm not going to do the massive highlight on this leg, but I'm going to pick up this edge just so I am consistent. And I'm going to pick this one, but I'm not going to go as heavy on that highlight. You need to do these highlights a little bit bigger than the final result. You need to make them a little bit bigger than what you really want. Don't be shy with them. Okay, so by a stupid mistake, the camera wasn't rolling <laughs> when I did the next step. But what I did is just take Administratum Grey and we're going to keep on sketching. We're not going to blend yet. We're just sketching at this point. And I'm going to make the same highlight just in the middle of the Stormbreaming Fur. As you can see, I am leaving Stormbreaming Fur at each side. I'm just doing solid colors at this point, but that is the point. Doing it this way, ensures that we have, first of all, that everything looks as it should, but also that we have the space for the highlights reserved. That is, we're not going to run out of a space when we're doing the highlight, which is a very common problem. The sketch is finished. There's a lot of work to do, but not as much as you may think. And we're going to start blending. What we're going to do is start using the in-between color between our primer and our our first highlight. That is, in my case, Scaling Bright Dinge. But if you mix an in-between tone between the two, you just use that. And with this in-between color, I'm just going to paint it. You guess what? In between. I'm just painting this in between the two colors that I have, in this case, the black and the Stormbreaming Fur. And also, as you can see, I am eating away 
the space I had for the highlights. And this already looks a little bit more blended. You can now choose to blend these two colors together, the Stormberg Mifur and the Administratum Grey by mixing intermediate tone, but I prefer to have my darker tones blended first and then blend the others. It's a matter of choice whether you want uh, one order or the other, it doesn't make any difference. But now I'm just going to finish blending this up. And for that, what I will do is mix intermediate tone between black and my Stormberg Mifur, just picking up every little bit of black a little bit of Escape and Blight Dinge until I have a intermediate color for this. Something like this. And now I'm just going to paint this in between the two other colors. Just like that. Carefully painting this in between the black and the Escape and Blight Dinge. And just with that simple process, you basically have everything blended. If you prefer to use glazes, you can use glazes. I just think this process is very intuitive, very simple to do for novices and just looks pretty good. The highlight is very stark at this point in time, but that's what we're going to fix now. For that, we go back to our progression and then going to mix intermediate tone between the two just like that. Just tweak it till you're happy with it, but something in this range should be enough. And we're going to keep on doing the same. I'm going to eat away into the administratum grape, very carefully applying this. Just use the tip of your brush and you will immediately see how it starts to blend out pretty amazingly. Again, I'm eating away into the administratum. So I'm basically painting only into the administratum, very little over the storm fur. At some points, you might think that your highlight is a little bit too stark, like I do, for example, in this part of the leg here. So it's very easy to fix. I'm just going back to a storm bremen fur. I'm thinning it down to the sort of consistency again, and I'm just going to paint over that transition until I'm happy with it. I'm just basically painting over that. I leave it to dry. Very important that it's fully dry before you apply another coat of this. And I'm just slowly but surely tinting it down to the desired highlight level that I want. Here on the knee, I'm reducing even more the highlight because I think it's a little bit too big, especially compared to this other side. I'm not happy with this knee pad exactly, so I might tweak it later, but you can see you can change how things look. So instead of doing all of the intermediate mixes, I'm just going to use this thin down stone vermin and just do a little quick blending there. So now that our main volumes are there, our main highlights from our source of light are there, I'm going to do the edge highlights. Really important step. And I'm going to start with a Stormbermin fur. You can do this at any point. You could probably do this before. I just prefer to do it like this so I can concentrate first on the main highlights and then move on to the edge highlights. And what I'm going to do with a Stormbermin fur is apply an edge highlight on all of the edges very thin one and I'm going to stop as soon as it basically disappears so about like that and it's really important that you get all of the edges like this now that we have that edge highlight done I'm going to move into the next step and this will be just a shot on gray I'm thinning this down so it's not so aggressive to this sort of point here, you can see it, it's just thin down. And I'm just going to keep on doing this edge highlight, but I'm going to obviously now focus it more towards the part where the administration gray is on the model itself, on the volumetric highlights. But I'm going to expand that a little bit.
With that done, I'm going to do now, before the final final highlight, which is Rothu and Grey, I'm going to do now the contour reflections. And yes, you could just sketch those and blend them before, but I like to do them at this stage so I can have a better perspective of what I want to do. And for that, I'm just going back to Stormbrim and Fur, but this time I like to do them more in, of in a glazy consistency instead of the normal layer sketch. And what I like to do is apply them on the opposite side. So you can see that it's, it's not thick and it's basically blending as I go. It's not a clean blend, but it will do. It's not as important because it's just this is just the counter reflection. So we can be a little bit faster and messier. But if you like this way of painting, you can use that for your main highlight as well. Why not? But also, you have to think about bounced light. What is bounced light? So, for example, you have a really bright edge here. That edge is going to bounce light onto this lower part of the knee pad here. So I'm going to apply it there. Just like that. And also, this very bright highlight on the knee pad here is going to cause a highlight on this flat. So I'm going to apply it around there. There you go. Now that we have the counter reflection more or less sketched, I'm just going to blend it fully, just using black, in the same consistency as the uh, Stormbrim Infer. I'm just going to keep on doing these layers on the edges of the Stormbrim Infer until it's more or less blended and I'm happy with it. Again, for the counter reflection, I'm not as picky about my blending. You don't need to be. Now that we have that blended, I'm decently happy with it. It's not perfect, but we don't need it to be perfect. We're going to go back to Administratum Grey and do a final highlight on the bounce light. In some places, it's just going to be an edge highlight, for example, here and here. But in other places, like on this upper section of this highlight here, I'm just going to do some lines in the direction I want the highlight to be. So moving upwards in this case, just like that, just like that. So we have a bigger highlight there and a little bit here at the bottom. And now for the final highlight, I'm just going to use Ultho and Grey. And with Ultho and Grey, I'm just going to do dots of highlight. We don't need much, this is a black armor. This will be like our white. So we need very little of this, very sporadically. And you can see how applying this makes essentially all of the other highlights look darker now. They were looking super stark or bright. And once we apply this, they just seem to, you know, fade down. It's just an optical illusion. And you can see also, I'm not trying to blend this or trying to make this as smooth as I can. I'm just applying this quite chunky, really. There's some dots here and there to emphasize that shiny effect. And I'm not going to apply these to the bounce lights or to the counter reflections. This is just for the main highlights. This is the final result with the other knee pad adjusted. I'm extremely happy with this guy and I will probably finish him. But before that, I have plans for another video using him. Stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it because we are going to talk about gold. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget that if you like my videos and want to help me make them, you can follow me on social media. You have the links to all my social media in the description below and in the pinned comment of this video. Share and like this video, but most importantly, there is Patreon and channel members.
Patrons and members allow me to do all the cool videos that I want to make, and most importantly, they allow me to release them all for free here on YouTube. Perks include access to an amazing Discord community full of lovely people, early access to some of the videos, and now also private one-on-one -on -one online tutorings. Help me and my family and join the list of the coolest persons in the planet, including Luis Manuel Toca Oria, Miguel Ángel Sancho Molinero, Rainer Hochbarg, Flo, Terry Denham, Robert Smith, Terrainosaur, Grisha Kalish, Stavros Stavro, Cedric Kotzenmacher, Giovanni Constanza, Bion, Howard Holtbild, Will Ewig, Javi Mota, Christoph Moret, Bartolomé Cajusa, Victor Dome, Nicolas Furnell, Tyler Hughes, Gargallo, Spicy Joe, O.C. Best Life, Hamish Donald, Matthew Lang, Joseph Nunam, Kelly Richard, Strat Molina, Shinji Guo, Mike Regueira, Romain, Ars Miniatura, Little Painted Stuff, Dansex92, MJG3D, Just Rex, Joe Offut, Dr. Cathaber, Angelos Alexo, Alastis, Mick Gallagher, Felix Franke, Aaron Bernstein, Alfredo Phillips, Danger2007, Stephanie Ol, Nick DeMao, Peyton Peter, David Sutherland, Roger Nielsen, Oscar Jonathan Tomberg, Dan Mako, Cristalios, Carlos Rivera, Kevin Mian, Darcy Farrar, Chris Feige, Nadius Maximus, Aaron Dell, Gareth Smith, Keder Amster, Mark Atkinson, Mark Jarvis, Joe Simpson, Charles Armintas, GeForce, Dr. V, Renald Lindemann, Kieno Murthail, and Kevin Sullers. And as for me, I will catch you in the next one. Bye.